without further ado, let's jump right into the game. Uh, this is the demo from Gamescom. It's actually, unfortunately, not publicly available via Steam, uh, as are all the demos we're showing here. So unfortunately, you can try it for yourself, but at least I can play it for you. So this demo is around 20 minutes long, so it should be perfect for our slot here. And since the game is very atmospheric, um, I'm going to not talk a lot. Yeah, we're playing Lana, uh, who's just found her friend Mui. We're not on Earth. That much I can say about the story. But Mui will not be the only uh, living creature we'll be encountering. Ima. Ima. And we can Ima. give Mui some commands here to stop or to follow. It's pretty straightforward. And also the main mechanic to solve a few puzzles in the forthcoming demo. There is no combat in the game. Pretty peaceful, but it gets pretty intense later on. So everything you see is hand-drawn. The music is actually done by the composer of The Last Guardian. Here we have the same, uh, the first puzzle. Puzzle. Ima mui. Be straightforward. Olai. You would think, but maybe we would do. We would need to do one more thing, so now Olai. Mui can follow us. We can actually jump very far, so it's kind of difficult to actually know how far. We can jump. Ima. Hola, <coughs> muy. So you might have noticed there is no uh, dialogue in the game um, that they would need to translate because it's a fantasy language that the director told me it was pretty straightforward to create. We have all these mini moves here, mini moves. I'm a little bit of loco roco, if anybody <laughs> remembers that. They're even called muis there as well, or quite similar. Yeah, this is a little odd. Trying to get to the right point to climb up ropes, but I'm sure they will 
just uh, optimize that until the release, which will be early next year, by the way, on Xbox Game Pass, as you saw. Actually, exclusively on Xbox and PC, at least in the release window, probably. Ima. It's very much inspired by Studio Ghibli movies, the creator told me. Here it gets a little bit more tricky. You can press RT to select the point of interaction for Moi. Tomaki. And press Y for him to interact, him, her. And then we have the same problem. I like that the music is only sporadically used for special moments. That is intentional by the developer. I think pretty soon the atmosphere will shift a little, maybe. I like the animations. A little foreshadowing here <laughs> for later on in the demo. So we could go up there or down there. Let's go down there. Oh! The stones can move in this game. And they seem to follow Mui, so maybe let's. Not keep him there. Oh, that was intentional. I wanted to show the game over as possible. <laughs> so there's only a certain range I can command Mui to. Oh, they actually tried to grab him. Better go stand there. They stay there, and we will use the platform to jump over. Pretty straightforward, but very intuitive. And there are no text boxes explaining you the puzzle design. It's all very naturally coming together. And again, the music is fantastic. Hola. This is also very straightforward. We don't have to wait long until Mui joins us again, usually. Another puzzle. Hello, Mui. Hello. Hola, Mui. There's someone up there, but unfortunately I found no way to free that little moi creature. Pamaki. Olai. Hello?
Hola, Imui. Of course, there will be a lot of different biomes in the game as well. It's not just it's mountain uh, area. But the developer couldn't go into detail what exactly will await us. Maybe for spoiler reasons that is better that way. Let's see if I remember this. Hello. So you may ask yourself if there is a two-player co-op mode, but they, I think they did some experiments with that, but it just didn't work with the narrative. So, and with actually All I. bonding with Mui, it's better to be a single-player experience. They decided so there's no co-op. Probably get. Up there somewhere. Of course, we will need to get rid of the wood there. So, probably I will go there first. Try not to electrocute myself. No, no, don't go there. Ima. So as you can see, the bonding already works. I already care about Moi. Wish the, the range was a little further. Pamaki. For the commands, but maybe they will change that. Hello. Hola, Imui. Hola. That didn't happen the first time, but there's always a first. I like that the voice actually um, is also adjusted to the situation. Be not be the only encounter with the robots.
So there's another puzzle area. You can already tell that this rock will definitely move those platforms. And I already know, of course, because I played it. So I will keep Moi here. He should be safe here. Ima. I like that the uh, difficulty is actually rising, but it's not spiking suddenly. And that the story is, of course, also told through the level architecture. I imagine it's quite hard to pull off to tell the whole story without actually narrating in a language that anyone can understand. Up you go. So you can see some elements are repeating quite a bit. It's probably to get the player used to the puzzle design. I imagine in the actual game then it looks a little different. You notice some stuttering there, that's probably just in the pre-release demo here. Actually running pretty well. And now the robots are back. And the puzzles get more complex. We can see the different color codes the robots might have. I think it will be important for the for the game itself. You will see at the end, but not that important here. Be straightforward. Let's try him. Oh, that's okay. That's already enough for it to kill me. <laughs> So of course we will use this hole a way to get into the grass safely. But now we have the problem that the robot is blocking the way and we can't uh, climb up there. So maybe let's get Moi back there. And let's see what happens. So you actually have to use Mui as a bait. Which could be interesting in the rest of the game. How that works. And now it's pretty obvious what will happen, right? So we will get Mui up there. The robot is not looking. Maybe I'm a little too far here now. Let's hope this works. Come on, robot.
and everything is fine again. And I guess that's it for Planet of Lana, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I like the game world a lot, the atmosphere, the music, the graphics. Moi. But I guess we will have to wait for another half a year, probably. And then the game will launch on Xbox Game Pass. Probably also PC Game Pass. Only for Xbox and PC. Would also be a nice fit for the Switch, but maybe later on. game is in development by Wishfully and it's published by Thunderful Publishing so thanks to Thunderful for providing us with this demo I hope you can play it for yourself pretty soon you can see the platforms actually it doesn't say PC here but it's actually listed on Steam so I suppose it will come to PC and Xbox in spring of 2023 so if you have any questions uh, to the developer, I would be happy to um, refer your questions then to the developer. So just put them in the comments below. And uh, very much looking forward to playing the full release early next year. <laughs> 